from the Oak Wall Studio in Las Vegas, Nevada. Hello, this is Jesse Oakley III, and welcome to the Oak Zone, where we provide positive words of wisdom for the happy people. Now, normally on Monday through Fridays, I would give my words of wisdom for all of you, the happy people. But I have something new for you. It's called the Sunday Morning Chat Series, where I get the chance to talk to all the happy people that are making a difference within their respective communities. They have their own words of wisdom, their own experiences, and their own journeys. They, they would like to share for you, the happy people. And I do this every Sunday mornings at 8 a.m. Las Vegas time. For Without further delay, I'd like to introduce you to one of the happiest people I know. And I'll definitely love to call her my friend. When she is full of energy, she is full of dynamics, and she is full of straight up spunk if you were to look at her. I am very proud to actually have this positive person. And she is so positive, as a matter of fact, I believe she's more positive than me. So please help me welcome wonderful fellow Toastmaster, friend, and cancer survivor, none other than the one, the only, Miss Jody Lynn. Hey, Jody, how's it going? Hello, Jesse. I'm going great. All right. First and foremost, I'd like to thank you for coming to this Sunday morning chat series for the Oak Zone. And do you have any other questions before we actually get started? No, nope, no questions for you. All right. So let's begin. And the first question I have for you is, how long have you been a cancer survivor? It will be 16 years, December 22nd of this year. All right. It's been a long struggle, but 16 long years. <laughs> congratulations, congratulations. Now, when it comes to this, uh, are you involved in any groups or organization that that, you, that deals with cyber cancer? I'm actually, a, along with the American Cancer Society, I do do volunteer work with them. And unfortunately, they haven't had anything for me to do. But when we do have our Relay for Life, or our cancer walk in October, I do volunteer and help out with that. And so I'm always trying to stay busy. All right. And when it comes to this, besides the Relay Walk and the Walk for Life, have you done any anything else for this organization, the American Cancer Society? I haven't really outside of it. I've wanted to, like I said, I do volunteer for them for people that have gone through the cancer the same stage that I was or how my cancer was so I can walk them through and be there to help support them. Unfortunately, which in a way is a good thing, they haven't had anybody for me to be able to talk to. So when they do have events outside that are sponsored by, let's say, the Aces, a basketball game, I'm able to go to and I'm able to help inspire others to either donate or keep fighting the fight. So I may not do it directly with the American Cancer Society, but we do it in an, an indirect way. All right. And this sounds awesome. Now, what were some of your favorite moments with these events that you were a part of? Oh, my. Well, we'll start off with the, my favorite which was back when I lived in Arizona, when I got to be part of halftime for the NFL for the Arizona Cardinal game. Oh. How, who they played, I do not remember. They did lose, unfortunately. But prior to that, that week prior, I got to meet some of the football players. And believe it or not, I got to meet Larry Fitzgerald. Number 11 of the Cardinals, who has been with the Cardinals for about 17 years, the only team he has been with. So, yes, even though I live in Nevada, as long as Larry is on the Cardinals, I am a Cardinal fan. And his brother Marcus is awesome. Man, Larry Fitzgerald, that is a certain Hall of Famer right there for a wide receiver. 
Well, you know, his mother passed away of breast cancer. So he does, him and his brother do a lot for the, uh, the American Cancer Society and for to, rare, uh, to raise awareness for breast cancer. All right, that's, that's very awesome. Now, when you found out that you survived this, what were your first reactions? How did you actually feel? Well, every day I'm blessed to be a survivor. There's not, well, yeah, you survived it. I'm one of the lucky ones, 16 years with no signs of reoccurrence are it metastasizing somewhere else to where I do belong to some groups on Facebook and some of them have had it two, three times or it has gone to their bones, their lungs, their brain, and we've had many women pass away, and some of them at a very young age. So I look at every day as a blessing, and there's not one day that it's good. It's like, hey, yeah, I survived it. Yeah, I survived it. I got to keep going because you never know what's around that corner. So just be happy for what you've got and be around happy people and stay positive is the best thing for me. I tell you what, staying around happy people and being positive, that is a winning combination, no matter who you are. And you are a true example of one of the strongest happy people that I know within the Oak Zone. Awesome. All right. Yeah. Now, if, <laughs> now, if you've met someone that has the, the breast cancer or any form of cancer, what would be the one words of encouragement that you would give this type of, this person? Stay positive. Look to see what you have around you that will keep you going. And just stay positive because it's the way I look at life and look at things is if you're positive, you will keep on going and you will survive and you will thrive. If you're negative, it, it, that leads to a four letter word that starts with a D and it's something we nobody wants. Yes, sometimes, unfortunately, you can stay as positive as you want and still not make it, but I believe that gives you at least a few extra days every time you're staying positive. So just stay positive, keep your head up, and don't fight like a, a like the saying they have saying fight like a girl. I think that's sissy. It's fight for your life and keep on going and smile every day of your life. Yes, 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 yes. Oh my goodness! Like a certain wrestler I like to recall. Yes, yes, yes. And sorry, Daniel Bryan, for <laughs> copying that. But Daniel Bryan. <laughs> exactly, Jody. The words that you've mentioned so far, it makes me go yes, yes, yes. And I got to say that this is <laughs> phenomenal. Now we do have some people out there that are going to watch this on Sunday mornings. And is there anyone out there that you'd like to give a good shout out to any people or organization or anybody else? Well, for one would be my Toastmaster family here in Las Vegas. And your wife who is considered my sister, Dana, who I love you both to death and you know I'll do anything for you guys. Uh, Windjammers, Guy, uh, Phyllis, Mama Phyllis, she's, I consider her my mom. So there's just a dimension, but everybody out there knows who I'm talking about when I say my Toastmaster family. I tell you what, it's an awesome Toastmaster family, and I believe, especially, it's so awesome that we have one person actually competed on the final stage of the World Championship of Public Speaking of Maureen Zapala, and she did an amazing job at the World Championships. So when you think about those one-year people, let's say your one-year district of Southern Nevada, District 115, we are, we're making moves already, and we're only in our second year already. Exactly, and I can proudly say I was her division director when she had gone up through the up through division, so I am highly proud of her. I don't like the way it turned out, but she is always going to be number one for District 115, and I think that 
is a little bit better than being world champions yet. I mean, it'd be nice, but for our district, you can't beat number one. And for the happy people out there, District 115 is one out of 120 plus districts all over the world in Toastmasters International. District 115 covers Southern Nevada and Las Vegas community. That's for people that are out there that were wondering, what the heck is District 115? Now you know. But for more information, go to Toastmasters.org, www.toastmasters.org, and find out more districts that are out there. And they're waiting for you. Now, we are about to wrap up for this interview. And you see the happy people out there. You may want to give a brief wave at the happy people. Definitely a nice wave. But yes, exactly. Now, if you have any words of wisdom for the happy people, what would you like to tell them right now? Live life as if there is no tomorrow. Love everyone, especially love yourself. If you can't love yourself, you can't love anybody else. So live like there's no tomorrow. Love everybody and just be happy and stay positive. All right. And my words. All right, way to go. Thank you, Jody. And I really appreciate you and spending time talking about your journey through breast cancer, surviving and becoming very positive as the way you are. And I just got, this is what it's all about with these Sunday morning chat series. It's talking to happy people that are making a difference within the community. And you're going to hear more people similar to Jody that are going to talk about the Sunday morning chat series. So stick around, stay tuned. And if you have anything, any other people that you'd like me to interview for the Sunday Morning Chat Series, please have them contact me here on YouTube. And speaking of YouTube, if you'd like to see more positive words of wisdom for the happy people, go to YouTube, type in my name, Jesse Oakley III, click subscribe, hit the bell for more updates on the positive words of wisdom for the happy people. Until then, this is Jesse Oakley III, and I'd like to tell all of you happy people, until then, you take care and have a great day. Bye.